don't understand, do you? The power of Tyr. Yes! Return to your grave! Crumble, child of dust! Then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely, whatever bargain Gadflo made with Ch she's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn. But Gadflo's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. This way. Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. I can feel Tiernok's eyes upon us. Tienok awakens. Let's go. Three, three, six, three. 
And now I can get freedom back. And now I can mine. Only you have the power to... But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tiernok's secret? There are things in this world that must remain hidden. If the power of the dragons were widely known, well... You've seen what has happened here. Gadlo tapped a fraction of her power. He upset the great cycle of the Fey and waged a genocidal war on the young races. Just coming in contact with her power managed to free you from fate's bonds. And if you can turn that freedom against her, she will have no power over Amalur. Nothing like you has ever existed before. As always, there's no way of knowing your future. If you're victorious, it may be the last time you change the fate of the world. Even if you fall back into fate's weave once her influence is gone from this world, it will be a far better fate than what Tiernok's emergence would bring. That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiernak from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernak. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. Let's go. There's no turning back now. This is a time for action. This way. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! it feel, I wonder, to return to this place? Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha. In the dawn of the endless winter. Comes. Tiernok the powerful. Tiernok the merciful. Kuala Fela Tiernok. Kuala Sera Tiernok. Tiernok? Uh, have, 
Have I done well, lady? Are you pleased? Is it... Did I... You have I... served your purpose. But I... I have so much more to... <laughs> we have known that this would be a new beginning 
I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shear. Thank you.